Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight, very positive subject. I want to talk to you about the blessing of God. And the blessing of God can be ridiculously awesome and huge. 2 Kings chapter 8. Then Elisha, oh, verse 1, sorry. Then Elisha spoke to the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go, you and your household, and stay wherever you can, for the Lord has called for a famine. And furthermore, it will come upon the land for seven years. So the woman arose and did according to the saying of the man of God, and she went with her husband and dwelt in the land of the Philistines seven years. And came to pass at the end of seven years that the woman returned from the land of the Philistines. And she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. Then the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. Now it happened, as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life, appealing to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed a certain officer for her, saying, Restore all that was hers, and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the land until now. All of this started with her helping out Elisha when he was just traveling back and forth between cities. And she said, hey, let's build a room for this guy. Let's set up something for him so he can stay midway through his journey, refresh himself. <sighs> Sorry, guys, it's late. <sighs> and then he can just continue on his way. And so Elisha took her up on this officer and eventually said, what can I do to bless you? And she said, I am blessed. Don't worry about it. All this is a paraphrase, by the way. And so he sent Gehazi to inquire, you know, like the state of the household. She had no children. So he just spoke and said, about this time next year, you're going to have a son. She said, Lord, or my, not Lord as in God, but like my Lord, the way they would refer to each other in the Old Testament. My Lord, you know, don't tease your servant. Well, she had the son. And the son died due to some random sickness. He just came in from the field. His head was hurting. And then he died later on that day. So she went and got Elisha. Elisha went to her home, restored the kid's life. And now later on, she's being warned of a famine and then getting her land and home back after she returns from being away for seven years once the famine is done. So she is just thoroughly and completely blessed, and I would like to challenge each and every one of you watching this video, sometimes it is so easy to believe in all the negative things that can happen in this world, because a lot of negative things can happen, and the Lord does allow bad things to happen to his children. Look at Job. So he challenged the devil. Let's see if you can, you know, let's see if you can do anything to my servant Job, essentially. And the devil's like, well, let me try. And Job and his righteousness didn't fall. But he went through a horrific time. And we tend to believe in that a lot easier than we can believe in being completely and thoroughly blessed by God. Elisha, blessed with amazing gifts and powers. This woman, blessed with a son. The son being raised back to life. Um, her livelihood or at least her life being preserved for seven years of famine, and then her livelihood, her home, being restored seven years worth once the famine was done. She was completely and thoroughly blessed. And God can do that for his children just as easily as all of the horrible stuff that, that you could think about and you could imagine. Keep in mind God loves you. God is merciful. God is gracious. He loves to do good things for his children. He loves to do that. Also keep in mind that this Shunammite woman, by blessing the man of God, was setting herself up to be blessed. She was putting herself in a blessed place. Now, a lot of the times we are supposed to simply repay good for evil. And we're simply to love our enemies and bless those who curse us and love those who spitefully use us. We're definitely called to do that. Just remember that the Lord can definitely bless you as well, and He delights to do so. A lot of the times the negative is focused on, not the positive, and I wanted to focus on the positive because here was just a good example 
of someone setting themselves up for blessing by blessing the man of God. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you got to give to a church or anything, but to put your time, creativity, and your money, too, into something God's doing, and sometimes that is a person. Just being in a place where God is and giving of your assets, your time and your money, sometimes it's your money too, it can put you in a place to receive the blessing God wants you to receive. And my gosh, can he bless. It's good, good stuff. So I wanted to encourage you guys with that. Thank you for watching this video. I love you and God bless.